Alrighty, so these are Luna's dogs, the general and the commander. We're killing these two before we're actually taking on Luna herself. These are very easy to kill. One tank will go on the uh, one one tank will go on the other so I will go on the general here the other tank will go on uh, the commander everybody is going to focus the commander down here <clears throat> now the mechanic of these dogs is if you kill one it's going to enrage the other and buff it up essentially um, now that buff will wear off eventually but it just makes the fight a lot longer and a lot more dangerous so the trick here is um, you're gonna have the tank call out slam when the first target aka the commander is at about 10 to 15 percent because both tanks are slamming their targets when you kill the commander it will be unable to enrage the general and the effect will just fizzle out once that happens and the commander is down Everyone will then just switch targets onto the general and DPS it down until it's dead. These mobs will try to mez those in your group, so make sure demezzers are standing away from the main chunk and they demez those who need it. You can see here the mob's health is getting down to 15%. Both tanks are going to slam their targets to make sure that enrage fizzles out. The commander is going to die. All DPS is going to switch onto the general and focus it until it's down. All right, now our fair fight 8v1 versus Luna can finally happen. Everyone's gonna set up the same kind of way they did in the last encounter. We're all gonna stay spread out. We need our demezzers to stand away from the main chunk of our group and always demez healers as a priority first. So the Luna fight is pretty simple, but it can get hairy depending on RNG. Um, because her mechanics she throws out at random. The first thing she can do randomly is channel Power of the Ancestors. Now I have my chat blocked here, so unfortunately you can't see it. But it will say it in the broadcast, and that means she's doing a PBAE. Um, it helps to run out away from it, however it is percentage based. It will only do 85, 75% of your health, something like that. So you can face tank it. Um, it's just not ideal. So you'll see me just run out whenever that happens, just to avoid damage, keeping stress off the healers, and everyone will go back on the boss. Now the first mechanic that's going to happen here is at 70%, Luna is going to howl for her puppy that we saw in the hallway upstairs, and she's going to come running down the back stairs that we came down before we started this encounter. When that happens, your secondary tank is going to go ahead and run all the way to the back stairs and pick Luna, Luna's puppy up sorry, by themselves. One healer will need to stay just paying a little bit of attention on the secondary tank who's going to be tanking Luna's puppy. Luna's puppy is not a giant threat. It's not going to take a lot of healing to keep this tank up. The tank is tanking it back here on the stairway because Luna's puppy can silence the entire group so the secondary tank will just keep it away from the group while they continue to fight the boss. So Luna's going to do a couple more things throughout the fight. At 45% she's going to start throwing out an AoE stun. This isn't too much of a threat. Um, you just got to wait until it wears off. It's not a big deal, just hang out, don't panic. The one that's very dangerous though is at 30% when she's going to start doing a siphon. This will once again be broadcasted in the chat announcing that she's casting a siphon and this is a very dangerous PBAE, okay? So now she is randomly casting two PBAEs. One is very dangerous and the other is still really dangerous. So you can see our tank in the back is doing a lot of ping-ponging back and forth because he has to hyper focus on this chat window paying attention to all these different PBAE announcements.
Now when Luna reaches 20%, she will start casting a AoE Mez on the group. This will also be announced in the broadcast chat, saying that Luna tries to take control of the situation. Remember, your demezers need to stay away from the group for when this happens, and they want to demez healers as first priority. Once you have the fight under control, those are all the mechanics. The tank is the one who really has to hyper focus here and just make sure DPS stays steady while he never loses aggro. Once again, it's really helpful that everyone is keeping eyes on the percentages on the guide here, making sure you're calling out everything you can. The more eyes and voices, the better. And just stay focused and keep it up until Luna's down. Remember, no one DPS is the puppy except for the side tank, and it will despawn when Luna dies. 